Hi, I'm Victor from Sky21 Media, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Checkroom app. Checkroom allows you to monitor equipment that has been inputted into the system and check it out to other shooters. So to get things started, you need to download the Checkroom app. Go to your App Store or Google Play Store and download Checkroom. Checkroom is spelled with a Q and not a CK. It should look something like this. Once you open the app, it's going to ask you to sign in. To get the information, contact me or someone in the production office. Once you open the app, the first thing you'll see is the dashboard. Here you can locate items, scan codes, add new contacts, and see upcoming reservations and checkouts. If you click on the top left hand menu button, you can see there's even more selections you can choose from. Here you'll probably choose the items out of everything. So let's get started by adding a new contact. Go back to your dashboard and click new contact. Here you will type in the name, the email, the phone number. Insurance is not necessary, but if they do, please enter the insurance policy number. Once there, then click add. Next, let's add an item. Most of the equipment should be input into Checkroom already, but if it's not, you will go to Menu, Items, and click Add Items. Now when adding an item, you want to make sure that the information for that item is similar to the other ones. For an example, if I go back to Items and type in 12 to 35, as you can see, all the other items are listed in the same way other than the serial numbers. So let's go back to Items and click Add. Here you enter the name, what category is it in, the location, the brand, the model, the serial number, and a description. In the description, you should mention if there's any accessories that goes with that kit. I have here a Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35, and we're going to be adding that into Checkroom today. This would go under lenses. Location would be here in SoCal. And now remember, if you're in a different region, make sure you select your own region. The brand is Panasonic. The model is Lumex. Serial number. And I don't need to add anything to the description. Then I'll click add. Here, now you can see some of the information for that item. If you click on info at the bottom, you can even add a QR code to each item. You will place a sticker on the item itself and click scan code. Once you scan the code, it will be added into the information and you can use that later for checkout. Now let's talk about checkouts. Go back to the dashboard and click new checkout. You will set the location the due date, and the contact. Then click Add Item. Now if you don't have QR codes, you're going to have to look up the item manually. You can enter the last four of the serial number and usually it will pop up. And there you go. You click that and click Add. If you have a QR code, you can just scan it and then add from there. After you add the item, click Checkout. After you click Checkout, it will bring you to the current checkouts we have open. However, if you're not there, you can go back to the dashboard and click on Upcoming Checkouts. Click on the checkout you just made because we need to generate a PDF for them to sign. Once there, you click Actions and click Generate PDF. The first document the shooter needs to sign is the checkout agreement. This states that the gear they are renting is listed on the document and agreed upon. After that, click on the blue button at the bottom and have them sign. Now there is one more document they need to sign, which is the rental agreement. Again, click Action and Generate PDF. Click the top drop-down menu and select YTM Equipment Rental Agreement. This states that they are responsible for the gear and need to turn in the equipment by the date agreed upon. Click the blue button at the bottom and have them sign. If you go to the attachments on their checkout and click on the PDF, you should be able to send that signed agreement to their email. Click the share on the top right hand corner and click email. 
Type in their email address and send it to them if they want a copy. After that, they are good to go. Now, when they come back to check in the equipment, you will need to go to upcoming checkouts or checkouts that are due today. Click on their checkout. There you want to check each item to make sure it's in good condition before checking it in. If nothing is damaged and good to go, there are two ways you can check in the items. One, you can just click on it and click actions and check in. However, you can use the scanner to scan multiple items. Once scanned, click select, and then you can click actions and check in that item. Once all the items are checked in, Checkroom will automatically remove them from the upcoming checkouts. This concludes our video here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out and we'll be glad to help. Until then, see you next time.